I mean, you have business cards, Randy? Uh huh. Since we don't have like a lot of big fans, we can use business cards and popsticks. Right? There you go. <laughs> little fan base right there for you. <laughs> hey, Adam, can you hear us? I can. Good evening, gentlemen. How are you? Good evening. I I am fantastic. We are going to work on a little bit of lighting here, and we're going to grab a phone holder so I don't look like such a rookie. Hold uh, and then so give me give me about 45 more seconds and then we'll have no, our shit you're, together you're good you're good man you're good just glad you made it right oh yeah welcome to the show thank you well we'll kind of introduce ourselves just uh while you're getting adjusted there of course i'm randy and i'm in oklahoma city I'm Ashton. I'm also in Oklahoma City. And I am John. Oh, cool. I'm in Topeka, Kansas. Adam Ely, and I'm in uh, Choctaw, Oklahoma. Awesome. Hell yeah. Right awesome. down the road. Yeah. Yep. Yep. <laughs> Ashton, you live in Yukon. <laughs> You're amazing. Nobody, nobody knows where that is. <laughs> Oklahoma City. <laughs> well, My zip code is Oklahoma, Oklahoma City. City. One. He said Choctaw. <laughs> My zip code is an Oklahoma City zip code. All right, fair enough. Yeah, uh, we, <laughs> we don't talk about that. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> There we go. See, I told you we were going to get our shit together. Our chair's getting all weird. Here we go. <laughs> you don't have any picture. I don't. Which is hey. weird because he does on the live stream. No, there's. Oh, yeah, he does. That's, I just looked over. I was like, uh, he's got picture on the stream, but just not here. Oh, it's because internet's. It says there's an internet problem. Okay. How weird. Okay. It's. Yeah, I, I don't know, baby. You can see you on the live feeds. <laughs> that's the important part he's on the live feed all right well, that's, that's weird I, it looks like uh we've got you and he looks yeah. good on the, he looks good on the live stream he looks comfy now so randy get into this. <laughs> all right so uh we are live on facebook on the bleach bangs facebook and we are actually live on the uh bleach bangs youtube as well and adam tell us just a little bit about uh Hard luck auto. How did all this stuff start and how does this work? Okay, so it was kind of my wife and I's brainchild in 2017. I helped a young lady do a quick tune up on her car. She was shuttling my daughter back and forth from Domino's uh, and she was mm -hmm. so appreciative. She showed up that we I did a tune up on her car on Saturday morning. Saturday night when she dropped my daughter off, she gave us all the messed up pizzas back. 
uh, you know, so we as as payment for tuning up her car, you know, so we we kind of had a little bit of a light bulb moment there. St I I went live on my personal Facebook page, and six weeks in, I was 160 messages deep, and couldn't kind of keep track of it, and that's what spawned the Facebook page, uh, mm -hmm. and we kind of just, you know, for a couple of years on the weekends and when we could fit it in, I would help one or two people on my days off. And in 2019, uh, Mike Rowe with returning the favor, surprised my wife and I with a shop in downtown Oklahoma city, uh, for two years, all expenses paid. Holy uh, shit. Yeah. Wow. It, was, it was super rad, man. It was wow. one of the most, uh, incredible days of my life. I got to sit down with, with Mike Rowe and have lunch with him at the, Kibachi place, the little sushi place that's in the gas station that's at, uh, what is that, 15th and Sooner? Yeah, there's a gas station at 15th and Sooner that's got a sushi place in the back corner, and that's where I took Mike Rowe for lunch that day that he came to visit. Um, it was one of the most incredible things that ever happened to me. And, you know, we, we kind of floated along just doing what we thought we needed to do and put our head down and fix people's cars, and it's just been in the last year or so that we've really kind of taken what we're doing at hard luck and change it from a passion project into a legitimately run professionally managed 501c3 nonprofit where we are uh, working with local bankers and people that are believing in our cause other nonprofits that have done amazing things for veterans other nonprofits that have done amazing thing for the things for the uh uh, domestic violence victims that are in Midwest City, and we're all kind of coming together, and we're trying to make the world a little bit better place. We're trying to help our neighbors out. See, that's amazing. Wow. I, I I told you guys it's an, an amazing story. <laughs> that's yeah, that is insane. <laughs> that's that's why huh? I was so so attracted to this man. I was just like, this guy has got a story in in the. He's he's given back to everybody, and he's so that's, just doing it out of the kindness of his heart. That's what our mission and vision statements are, man. We, you know, I I get the amazing amazing opportunity of getting to do life with uh, a couple of, of of behind the scenes people. My beautiful bride is is by my side almost every day at the shop. She teleworks from Tinker. She's my sugar mama, dude. She's the only reason why we're able to do this. <laughs> Uh, I, I get to work next to a 26 year retired Navy vet who has dedicated his, his life to making hard luck what it is, keeping us on the right track. The last five years, the dude, like I said, as a retired Navy captain has volunteered by my side without pay for the last five years, because he knew that someday hard luck was going to be a big deal. And without him, dude, we wouldn't be where we were at. Absolutely. Uh, I have volunteer kids that are with me we take in these kids that need community service done you know whether they're brought in by the scruff of the neck or their mom you know you know kind of puts a boot in their ass and sent them down to us because they got caught with weed at school or fighting uh if they've got some community service that they need to do i allow these kids an outlet instead of sitting at home with their thumb up their ass on a two-week suspension they're down changing people's shocks and struts and oil and contributing back to the community and we gain the attention of the assistant district attorney. So like for five years, we've been putting this together and Shawshank and my wife and I now are kind of at the point where we understand that we're running an automotive nonprofit so that we can fix some of these kids that are messing up. That's outstanding. That's wow, just yeah, so that's awesome. amazing. And it's, uh, it's, the, it's the coolest job in the world, man. It's, it's amazing. <laughs> so I, I need it. to bring my wife's car to you. Good lord! <laughs> yeah. Well, you're gonna have a 15 year old delinquents changing the oil on it, dude. <laughs> you're the coolest kid, man. When you you go <laughs> and you show them a little bit of respect and give them a little bit of responsibility, right. and just it's almost like clockwork. Shawshank and I kind of have a system down now where we we kind of came from you know, rougher upbringings, both of us being prior military, getting out. We both came from the motorcycle club world. Both of us rode in motorcycle clubs. 
uh, now we're kind of a little bit older and, you know, looking more at the trikes and a little less hardcore of a lifestyle, you know, <laughs> trying to look, uh, uh, more of a sedate, respectable lifestyle. Sure. Mature, as my wife says. <laughs> we can come to the yeah, good word. <laughs> Mature is not in my vernacular, man. Um, <laughs> I we feel that. Kid, like it's the motorcycle club world where you, when you, you hang around for a little while and you figure out if you're going to be a good fit for us and we're going to be a good fit for you. And then after the hang around period is done, then you become a prospect and we don't take any shit off of you. You do exactly what we tell you to do. You're going to be where we tell you to be. And you're going to be there in the uniform that we tell you to be there in. And you're going to do that for six or eight months until we break whatever bullshit you have left in you that's going to keep you from being the man we need you to be. And that's where we've got two right now that are kind of prospecting with us. And they are uh, they're doing amazing, man. It's the, it makes the whole thing, when you're hugging little old ladies and telling them to have a wonderful day, your brakes are going to actually work now on your 1996 shitbox Oldsmobile Cutlass or whatever, you know. <laughs> yeah. These boys are beaming with pride. And we fixed somebody's brakes for 50 or 60 bucks who had gotten a quote for six or 700, man. It's uh, it's rad, and we get to have a music festival, bro. The whole reason Dude, why let's talk I mean, about that. You know that uh, we tried doing it on our own the first time. We we called it Luckapalooza. I'm not good at this shit, so don't hold it against me. <laughs> um, but we we had a rad rad show of support from the music community in Oklahoma City. Uh, Big Oki Doom, man. I, I can't say enough about them. Mike Pierce, uh, the, the the guys that came together to help us put on this first music festival in 2021 completely saved us from shooting ourselves in the foot. And it kind of helped us get the experience we need. We didn't try to mess around with it in COVID. We knew we'd lose our ass to try to get over COVID. So once we knew that that was kind of all we thought it was over. I heard it's back now. Somebody it's said... Back. <laughs> ripping their ugly head again uh <laughs> we're trying to blow it out dude we've got philip fox uh fox rocks entertainment the dude's an active duty air force cat and he's really trying to make a name for himself in the music scene in oklahoma city was able to land shallow side for us uh that they are doing it for an amazing rate these mm -hmm. guys all the way from alabama um you know i uh i grew up in casper wyoming dude so my my radios, I only had two stations in, in Wyoming and one was country and the other one was Western. So I didn't really kind of blossom as a music kid until I joined the military and started opening my eyes to other stuff. But uh, the stuff that, that Phillips got for our lineup is rad. It's awesome. Absolutely. Um, oh yeah. I, I was just like dumbstruck when I saw shallow side is on there. Uh, we are very acquainted with shallow side um we we've known a shallow side for probably oh my gosh i want to say close to six to eight years and they're they're we've interviewed them um they they've been down at 89th street uh we interviewed them and seen them in las vegas uh they're just such awesome guys and amazing action. cool cats yeah it, it, so you've been able to actually talk to them huh Dude, the, the, I I am totally and uh, openly musically ignorant when it comes to this stuff, and it's only been in the last six months that I've been hanging out with with Philip Fox that he's been taking me to these guys that are going to be playing for us. Uh, I don't, of course, oh, hold on a second, I got it right here. <laughs> um, the uh, the set list. I got to go see, they were playing at, what venue did we go to off of 240 there? It's like Little Dick's Halfway. It's right next to Little Dick's Halfway in off of 240 and like Eastern there. We got to go see Nevermind the Embers and uh, Atria. Dudes were amazing, man. Right. Yeah. You know? Yeah. And never mind the embers. Uh, most of these are uh, local bands, right? Never. I yeah. know uh, Nine Left Dead. We've actually had them on on our show uh, just recently. 
and uh, never mind the embers. I've seen them multiple times, um, and I I'm just excited to see the rest of them. There we go. Cool. <laughs> Yeah, somebody's smarter than me at this stuff. So, um, <laughs> listen, I I am uh, I I claim to be a, a really good mechanic. I'm not that good at running a nonprofit. I'm not that good of a businessman. And when it comes to uh, technology, uh, I live in a log cabin. Um, <laughs> I I keep people's shit boxes running. That's how technologically advanced I am. <laughs> I'm, yeah, my wife is proud of me. I'm sending emails now. That's kind of been a step up for me now that I've had to kind of see, you know. So just whatever you do, don't put an Apple product in your hand. <laughs> <laughs> and that's why I'm on my wife's phone, bro, because I couldn't figure this one out. Adam, I felt that so deeply when you said that. I felt it. Oh, man. I was just like, man, I am so with you. I'm trying so hard to love that piece of shit, dude, but it's a, like a $1,200 brick to me right now. Trust me, I feel that. I'm in the same boat. Yeah. <laughs> oh, shit. So this is the second time that we've done this. This is our second music festival. It's the second time that we've done it at uh, li with Liberty Entertainment with the ladies that own Liberty Amp. Have you guys seen that facility lately? No, no. Have actually, not. we were we were just discussing where this was, and um, we kind of broke it down to. I think we saw um, we saw a map. Yeah, we saw a map. <laughs> okay, so I, I'll make it really easy for you. A 4th of July, it's the huge fireworks stand that's on 23rd Macomb Park. Okay. All right. It's just, it's okay. So look, it's all, it, the links are all in my social media. I want you guys, when you get a free five minutes, just take a little trip from uh, what you, I heard UConn, I thought. I wouldn't admit to that openly. Um, <laughs> right? just come all the way down this side on 23rd. Uh, it's a big, beautiful outdoor venue. They've got a rad amphitheater set up with a couple of shipping containers as a backdrop. Um, the first music festival we did, they let me build a burnout box in the back corner, in the way back oh, corner. So uh, at least we got that going for us. Even if the music sucks, but I know it's not going to, we're going to try to have a burnout contest anyway. <laughs> you <laughs> yeah, have to, why not? <laughs> We were actually talking about some of these amenities that you're going to have out there. You've got food trucks, exotic cars, a bounce house. And I was like, I, that combination, beer, food trucks, We're, bounce we're house. trying to have a festival, oh, man. Oh. <laughs> yeah, it, it sounds amazing. <laughs> mechanical bull, too. A mechanical bull, yeah. <laughs> after you get th after you get done drinking and get thrown off the mechanical bull, yes, you go to the bounce house to make yourself happy. That's what we need <laughs> as a, as an up and coming non profit is spinal cord injuries <laughs> to have to deal with. <laughs> yes. <laughs> no. Come on, babe. Write it down. Bro. Write it down. <laughs> Listen, I don't know how many people are watching this. I'm not looking at numbers, but there will not be a mechanical bull at my music festival. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, oh can, man! We can put Matt down. What, yeah. What the, what's, <laughs> so, so at least the, the younger kids pillows. with the rubber bones don't break as easy. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! Good so, lord. Um, the 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 tickets right now are twenty dollars online, um, twenty five dollars the day of. So get out there get your tickets um is there is there a please, uh, a quick please link go get your tickets we can send out okay so, so listen i want I, while you guys are looking for the link because i'm just going to sit here and look pretty for the camera okay i want you guys <laughs> to know that right now where we're at in, at hard luck no one has ever taken a donated dollar quite literally the opposite my wife and i and shawshank have invested thousands of dollars to get to where we're at at this point to just make make sure that we're solvent this music festival, if we only sell 2,500 tickets, is going to set us up for the entire rest of next year. I am literally betting the farm on this. That if, oh, wow. if we can, if you guys just real quick do the math, I don't, I don't have an abacus close. 20, 20 <laughs> bucks a ticket at 2,500 tickets is 50 grand. 
Okay. And it cost mm -hmm. me about 4,500 bucks a month to run hard luck. Last year, we helped 1,100 Oklahomans. And in, in the last five years, we've saved Oklahomans over a million dollars. So if we can set hard luck up with just a music festival every year, I want to throw the raddest local music festivals, food trucks and bounce houses so everybody can come out and have a chill, rad environment to listen to music. And I want it to go to a good cause. 100% of the proceeds go back to the mission. Not a single cent has ever been taken for personal gain. And it absolutely, the three of us that have started this have made a pact. Uh, because we all are kind of blessed in a way to be taken care of by the military, a donated dollar will never go towards salary. We will only talk salary when grant money comes in from foundations and from banks. And when we become a big enough deal to where we can support that, we'll never take a donated dollar or for merch. It's just so awesome. That is amazing. <laughs> That's so awesome. Good hey, Lord. Adam, I just, Adam, I got a question for you that doesn't yes, relate sir. to things. But, yeah. uh, what do you do in the military? I was a helicopter crew chief and I was a paratrooper. Uh, I, I had the rad opportunity of uh, right out of the gate, right out of airborne school. I went to South Korea and got to spend some time in South Korea. Um, after South Korea, I, I was stationed with the 101st Airborne Division and went to Iraq in 03, the first wave with the 101st Airborne. And then uh, again with the 10th Mountain Division, I went to Afghanistan the first time. All told, uh, I've got 39 months in combat. Uh, another 12 months overseas in Korea. Uh, and this is kind of my wife, my beautiful bride was a, a personnelist in the Air Force, uh, also a veteran. Um, and we kind of look at this uh, as our release, a way to give back. You know, we've, both of us have seen genuine evil in the world. And uh, this, is, this is a rad way to live life, man, to get to hug little old ladies all the time and uh, get to do stuff like this. and. You know, I'm, I'm on a podcast talking about the music festival that I get to throw in September that's going to fully fund my nonprofit next year. So if, if it's, it's hard to have a bad day, bro. They come in, they, you know, and they it's one or two every month. You know, you, you get a kick in the nuts right before payday, you know, when you're, you're trying to rub and nickels together for heat. Uh, but the rest of the time, man, we, we lead a pretty rad life. I want to thank you for your service and uh, absolutely my honor. Thank, thank you. Yeah, thank you. My honor. That's that is so cool. <laughs> so we're definitely going to be there. Uh, my wife's already. She's like, I got to get those tickets. I don't know if she has yet. Yes. But we're definitely. You guys are one of the six. Yes. No, <laughs> no, no. <laughs> but. Um, definitely want to be able to go down there and, and photograph the, the bands for you. Um, That's way maybe, awesome, man. Thank you. Maybe even do something kind of like, uh, I, we talked about it earlier. We were going to do this at Rocklahoma. Um, take like a GoPro and, and just kind of give anybody that's maybe on the fence about attending a reason to go. So uh, a first person type, Hey, this is the stage. Way this rad. is the you know, and and just yeah. stream it live and tell people to get out there. Um, it's 20, 20 bucks. Come on, get out here. This yeah. is all the benefits, uh, everything that they are doing. Um, sure. And and these are the bands, and I th I think it would be awesome to just go interview the bands, get the bands up there talking uh, on a live stream, kind of like this, and begging everybody come on out dude who's right. the musician that does all the benefit concerts in africa and stuff what's his name not bono oh god i'm not sure what's that dude with the with the purple glasses i know elton john does it elton huh? john? one of those guys Jeez. that's what we're gonna do we're gonna do the oklahoma version we're gonna do the red dirt uh you know Feeds them homeless kids or some kind of benefit, something for hard luck. That's good. that's what we're going to be known for. <laughs> I love it. I love it. So I, <laughs> I, I, I do sometimes. have, I do have a band, uh, yeah. queued up, and it's Shallow Side, just to give everybody a little bit of a taste of what they will be seeing at Hard Luck. These guys slay. 
Yes. Oh, shit. Okay, I don't have it queued up. <laughs> they still slay. <laughs> yes, they do. Just a second. Give here. me a minute. No, I've got this. I've got this. <laughs> hey, while you're pulling it up, I got another 30 seconds of air to, to fill here. These, okay. kids that, these kids that come and volunteer with me, man, these guys, uh, I don't care whether they're coming to do community service or they're coming because they want to learn a skill. At the end of the summer, we hook them up with a toolkit that's worth about 2500 bucks. Dude, that's and amazing. We, and we've decided now that we want to bring these kids uh, and we want to do the toolbox giveaway at the music festival. And these kids are going to kind of be VIPs, man. So about halfway through, maybe before Shallow Side comes on, I haven't kind of figured it out yet. We're going to try to bring the lights up. We're going to roll some toolboxes away. We're going to make these kids feel like a big deal. Ooh, that's awesome. Dude, that is, that's, yeah. that's classy. Classy. Thank you, baby. I love it. Love it. All right. I've got I've got shallow side queued up. Hell yeah. <laughs> so See do if I. we can make this. Uh-huh. Beat you to it. <laughs> no, he didn't actually. As soon as he said I got 30 more seconds, I had it pulled up. <laughs> <Whatever>. <laughs> I kind of fast as fuck, it. boy. <laughs> 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 it's just gonna be sick. Yes, not the first time, cause you're the worst kind. So you curse. Ah, they're, they're so amazing. amazing. Badass. I fucking love Shallow Side. And in their earlier stuff, right now. They are just blowing up Octane. They they are huge. Oh, yeah. And uh, so some of their older stuff, so good, so good. Uh, they even did a uh, a remake. Oh, gosh, I can't remember what the name of the song is. So good. But anyway. <laughs> cool yeah, cool story, bro. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm, I'm looking excited, man. And the fact that... Uh, you know, when you call up somebody like that and you tell them that, hey, I run a, non a mechanical nonprofit and one of the ways that we make money is to have an outdoor music festival. When dudes sign on with that much enthusiasm and that quickly, you know you're in the right spot. Dude, these, the, oh, for sure. Shallow side are class yeah. acts. I mean, yeah. um, it, when, you, when you speak to them, you are speaking to a Southern gentleman. Uh, you, you, I, I'm going to... We, we we did an interview with them and hugs, you know, 50 feet away, arms wide open. Hey, guys, yeah. we, <laughs> hug. we hug, you know, awesome, it was man. great. It was great. So, uh, huh? Renegade. renegade, my wife's like, the song is renegade. <laughs> She's like, I got to go rescue him. Go check that out. It, it's, it's my wife awesome. just said. From the sidelines, I'm glad I'm not the only person hollering shit out from the sidelines. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no. she's good at doing that. I can I can attest to that one. She said, "I need to oh, be okay. his wife." <laughs> 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 I'm sure we can tell each other stories. <laughs> uh, <okay. laughs> so, how much? Tell me, guy. Give me some uh, background on bleach bangs. Oh, goodness, <laughs> goodness. Um, I, I, I'm going to go a little short and quick, but me and one of my best friends that I grew up with was sick and tired of listening to the same freaking radio stations playing the exact same songs over yeah. and over, like it, like it's just on a loop. And uh, he texted me, and he was in Albuquerque, and he's like, you know what? We would have been kick-ass radio DJs. I was like, fuck yeah, we would have. So we yeah, started man. messing. Yeah, we, we just started messing around doing our little radio DJ voices. Good morning. You know, just doing this yeah. shit, just laughing, at, you know. And uh, the next day, 
I uh, sent him a link, I think, and I said, hey, check this out. I found something that we can actually go online and Boy, do, rad. And yeah. do, do a radio thing. So this was like nine years ago. And uh, it was more than so that. what's that? It was more than that. It was like 2009. Was oh, 2009. Okay. 2009 right. is quite a while ago. Yeah. Yeah. So anyway, <laughs> believe it or not. Anyway, uh, we uh, we we did the the show for how many years, John? Three, four. See, you're doing it too. We we did it for multiple years. Uh, we and we started out uh, just wanting to interview local bands that don't get played on the radio and they have no sure. chance. You know, they 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 have no outlet to right. hear their music so we wanted to play their music and uh with john being a topeka and uh him being in albuquerque and me being in oklahoma city that gave us a lot of bands to choose from way and, right uh, so w that's how we how we started doing things and then it just kept getting bigger and bigger uh we had d snyder from twisted sister on he we interviewed him uh, <laughs> he interviewed yeah, you actually he, well yeah he did interview us uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, so, uh, so many huge bands who else do we have we've had buck cherry we've had what else um, that is so badass dude give me one second oh he's got a t-shirt <laughs> he's gonna go get his other notepad <laughs> but, um, fries are done <laughs> we we even uh interviewed air supply Cause why that not? is so rad, dude. <laughs> <laughs> oh okay. God! That, here's our first rat. year anniversary, rat. Wild Street. Revengeance. Oh my God! Revengeance. Steel Heart. Steel Heart. Twisted Sister. Trickster. Ah, the Glitter Boys. <laughs> yeah. Jackal. Jackal, dude. Yeah. <laughs> yes. That is badass, man. So that was our first year. <laughs> And that's like huge. I mean, we're like, holy crap! That, that, we Dude, did talk that in about one swinging year. for the fences, man. <laughs> <laughs> go big or go home, just like what you're yeah, doing, man. <laughs> but it was great. It was great. Um, but life happened. Um, families, marriage, and we we took a hiatus. And about a little over a year ago, we decided that sure. we wanted to start it back up um, and and do it with video this time i'm not sure if our faces really support video but no that's that's what you that's what people need now is yeah uh, it's today it's something like that so yeah she, uh, she says hey you're the pretty face behind the camera and my ass is built like shrek bro <laughs> <laughs> i wear overalls every day for a reason dude like my ass crack had I had like the four inch tan line for most of my life until I found overalls. <laughs> so, but, but right now we're just uh, kind of uh, trying to get our momentum back. And my sure. wife is a uh, professional uh, concert photographer. Um, she's, she is uh, pretty she, cool. She takes, yeah. She takes photos all over the place. The zoo, Does she do any pro bono work? Uh, she does a lot. Of pro bono for nonprofits that are hosting uh, music festivals, uh, yes, most sir. likely, yes. <laughs> <laughs> what would you need, sir? Whatever she does, <laughs> <laughs> she would be volunteer number two. <laughs> yeah, yeah, she's she's yeah. actually really excited. She wants to go out there and take take some pictures of this awesome festival, man. Dude, she brings dude, both her cameras. You. I'm a photographer too, so. <laughs> we'll knock that shit the, out. the venue is way rad man uh the first one we did we were we were told that it was the biggest gathering of people the largest concert that nicoma park had had since the 80s and i don't know how impressive that is in nicoma park but we thought that that was pretty rad for our first time out right on. yeah no that's awesome <laughs> so but then we found out it was like 1500 people so we weren't we weren't that like blown away by it so we're trying to at least top 1500 this year sweet Dude, that's amazing yeah let, let's just let's get the word out there man because this is this is just awesome i mean not only is it awesome bands and it's just a it's, this is going to be an awesome night just to, like you said hanging out uh food trucks 
bounce houses. What else people beer. Ask for? Beer and merch. And <laughs> yeah. it's going towards a good cause. Exactly. Right? Exactly. Like, we, we, I can show you where every single cent has gone for the last five and a half years and exactly how your money is going to be spent if you donate to Hard Luck. It's something that we're wicked proud of. The way that we have handled business and have been so blessed, you know, uh, now I, I got to give mad props to you that my, my man on the ones and twos down there. If we can tag Tinker Credit Union in this, I know there's some music lovers at Tinker Credit Union. Cool. Um, and they have been absolutely instrumental in helping us uh get up to speed as a nonprofit, help us look like a big deal dude we we're a nonprofit mechanic shop my volunteers all have workers compensation insurance we have garage liability insurance just like any other shop out there should have uh we we're we're really trying to set ourselves apart um, you know, I've got big dreams, man. I want to put one of these outside of every major military installation in the United States. And the only way that I'm going to do that is making sure that every I is dotted and every T is crossed. Dude, yeah, that's awesome. Sure. That's awesome. Man, I, I have deep respect for you because I, I love what you're doing. I really Thank do. Thank you very much. Oh, my God, yes. We got some pretty rad people to follow us. That's awesome. Well, we're definitely going to be there, um, and I you're going to have a photographer. Make it. What's that? I am not going to make it. Oh yeah. <laughs> you're going to miss a rat. You're going to miss a rat concert, dude. I I will actually be at a Guns N' Roses concert that night. Oh, Probably won't that, be as good as ours. Is that why you <laughs> didn't want to comment on Guns N' Roses' new music? Do they have a bounce house at that concert? Yeah. Oh, they should. <laughs> We're going to have cheap beer and food trucks at mine, dude. Dude, uh, that beats, just that alone beats Guns N' Roses. Yeah, man. <laughs> I'm 325 pounds, bro. That beats pretty much anything. <laughs> so one thing I do want to um, get out there, is this all ages or how is this? Work? Absolutely. Uh, okay. absolutely everything that we do at hard luck is all ages. We, we try to, um, you know, we, we've been doing this in the, in the weeds for the first five years, but I didn't know how to run a nonprofit, man. So I wasn't 501 C three. So we were hustling with our family at Charlie's in Choctaw doing cornhole tournaments and poker tournaments and poker runs and selling merch. And, and it's, it's always been a family environment and family friendly. Uh, and it, it always will be everything that we do. That's good to hear. Love it. Yeah. Love it. No hookers. Man. You know, no like hookers. no one's doing cocaine in the bathroom, man. Damn it. There's no That's midget my tossing. Favorite part. Nothing like that. Yeah. Did you say no midget tossing? I got it. So, uh, yeah. 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 Uh, we won't get into that. We've had some pretty uh, rad parties. I know a dude named Mike Cook. Uh, he, he has a rad resume. Uh, the more I learn about that dude, the more I just want to hang out with him. Uh, the evil midget. You guys should look him up, man. He's local oh, to Oklahoma God. City. Uh, his dad is Steve Cook Customs, the custom car guy. And the dude is a wild man. Wow. <laughs> so, I love yeah, the sound of that. But there, again, not only will there not be any bull riding machines, there won't be any midgets either. They're not tossing them anyway. I was going to say, we might see Maybe one scampering around. Yeah. <laughs> They're buying their own damn ticket. I think <laughs> <laughs> That's the wrong kind of festival. <laughs> oh, I really shit. appreciate you guys having us on, man. To, no, to be able to get the word out about what we do is, is pretty rad. Thank you so much, man. I, I'm so, sure. so glad I waited for you to try to or explain everything instead of me going, yeah, it's a nonprofit. Oh, you, you, <laughs> you had so much better way of, of describing oh, yeah. everything. I so, you and, and I'm glad you got you on. on. I would have totally cut you off and not let you do it. I was like, no, I know you would have. I talk his stuff. <laughs> <laughs> but. Adam, thank you so much. And um, I should have all of this uh, nice and edited when a bow put on it by tomorrow. And that uh, make me look good. Yeah. Yeah. And oh, we can yeah. uh, 
you can share get the, the cat hair and the, the grass and shit off of me and uh <laughs> <laughs> and uh we'll we'll uh share away man and thank you maybe even some tiktok i don't know dude if you if I you got do. some swing with if you got some swing with shallow side man uh have them start promoting our shit okay cool cool if you can uh if you can convince them it, it sounds a lot better when they're excited about hanging out with us too Right, right. right. <laughs> so it's not one sided. It's like, hey, these guys like to be here. Come on now. <laughs> Go ahead, just pretend like you're not in it for just the check. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Right. <laughs> Absolutely. Well, thank you so much, Adam. And uh, we will most definitely see you September 23rd. I'm way excited. Thank you guys for having me on. I appreciate it, gentlemen. It was a pleasure to meet all of you. <laughs> you Have too, a good bro. one. Thanks, Adam. Thanks. All right. That was really cool. That was worth waiting that for. Was yeah, that was awesome. <laughs> so all right. I'm excited well, now. Uh, you heard it all tonight. All the random stuff. If you like the extra videos being thrown in, mm -hmm. like chime in, let us know. I I think we should try to keep doing it. I will yeah. try yeah. to make it a personal goal every week to find some new fresh videos like new songs that come out fresh new bands and you well, know i can pull things up on the spot relatively quickly and hopefully the last vegas is going to have something out real and soon <laughs> also try my very best every week to find a way to bring up kiss your way so that's how we end this <laughs> <laughs> I would roll out of frame, but I really don't feel like moving. Right? Oh, no, so you're lucky on this one. And he's gone and he's back. <laughs> <laughs> All right, gentlemen. Um, of course, we do have, we may have some one off shows where we've been doing this every two weeks, but we're, we're, we're getting a lot of bands and we may be sliding a few in we're, we're busy. Uh, every week. So, which is not a bad thing, not a bad thing at all. So, and we're uh, back next we, week. Yep. Busy yep. season. <laughs> <laughs>